<laughs> Questions, raise your hand. The microphone will come your way. Mark, when you uh, look at the film, what were you pleased with last night? What was disappointing about last night's game? Uh, pleased with just how hard we played. You know, we played played hard um, in every phase, um, and you know that that doing a lot of good things that way. And that that's a that's a huge that's a huge deal um, of just just you know first and foremost we want to be a team that plays hard, plays physically, and finishes. Um, you know, and then then after that, there's there's again a million little details that that um, whether it's just awareness of the situation, you know, red zone, down in distance, when when do I press? Where's my leverage? Uh, all all those things um, pop up in a in a in a game like this. Whether it's the the first the first drive, the first touchdown, um, the the two clutch drives to end and both halves. Those are things that that we need to to close out and 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 finish better as coaches first and as players second. Um, and then again, just a million things come up. And, and it's those one or two plays in, in this game that, that if you finish, the game's over. There's one or two plays, you know, going back to the Michigan, Michigan State game and uh, everybody's singing a different tune. Rick? Kind of following up on that with uh, one or two plays here or there. Uh, the expectations coming into the season were pretty high, flying. How do you manage the psyche, the mindset of the team and the coach when you've had, you know, a pretty disappointing result last night? Uh, we talk about it. You know, and, and again, I think if everybody is on board to continue to do the things that we've done well and improve the things that we haven't done well, uh, win, lose, or draw, that's that's the goal. And, you know, at, at some point when you're, you know, again, it, obviously there's some tweaks here and there from a schematic standpoint, a personnel standpoint, a philosophy standpoint, just in terms of, of kind of how you tweak things from uh, normally uh, – you know, you just you continue to work, and you and you continue to count on the the, the character of our team, uh, the character of our coaches, the development that is that is taking place, and again, that turns into experience, and and you know, at some point, you're off and run. Reggie Daniels was a pretty key piece for your defense last season, and he's missed a couple of games. Is it? Performance based, or is he dealing with some kind of a health issue that's preventing him to play? Uh, he wasn't available this week. Kristen, do you have a question? Yes, I do. Um, Mark, what's going to be different about this loss? You guys already have two losses this season. You say that you come out to practice, you practice better, and that you guys are hungrier. But how can you make sure that you know that won't happen again? What's going to be different about this loss? Well, again, you can all, all you can do is is commit to improvement and and commit to each other. I think uh, our guys uh, again started to do that in the locker room last night. Uh, talking to the guys today, talking to some of the, uh, you know, all all the people in our program. Uh, again, you're not happy about anything, but the response is is productive, um, and and uh, you know, again, there's going to be obviously some some tweaks and changes from a week to week standpoint and and continue to improve we we have improved and played better in in a lot of areas but not you know not enough to get it done Brian, mark i think the last four or five teams that lost a heisman trophy winner their record was eight and five or something along those lines did you expect this to be a little bit of a transition year or did you think you know with a healthy vernon adams maybe you could just pick up where you left off last year um, I'm I'm never ever gonna think of anything other than you know just what what we control and what we can control and what's next, um, uh, and and whether that's the the next person in a position or whatever we expect whoever's in there to to be great to play great to prepare great, um, you know, at no point ever do we sit here and go we don't have A B or C so it's okay to you know that just doesn't doesn't happen. Mark the the run game was exceptional. Um, blocking looked good last night on the offensive line. Moving forward, obviously you need to throw the ball efficiently. How do you go into this next week and for the rest of the season? Are there ways to improve the passing game with, with what you have? And Definitely. How do you go about doing that? Yeah. Uh, just, you know, in, in some cases, um, 
uh, you know, and this is all this is all coaching based. Of of in, in some some plays there was there was something there to be had. Uh, you know, a couple couple times uh, we had some some depth some route depth issues that are that are easily correctable. Obviously, you know, made a couple plays, had a turnover, um, and so all again all those all those little details that that you know are highlighted and, and talked about all the time. They. They, you know, they come a, a blaze in in a, in a game like this to to a to an inexperienced guy, whether it's footwork, just the eye progression, all you know, all those things you, you have to trust and 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 make happen in the game, just like you have in the in, in, in training. Through the magic of modern technology, Andrew, do you have a question? Sure, uh, Mark. When you when you look at this defense and how they played pretty well except for those two end drive maps. Do you have any kind of explanation when you go back and watch the film for what went, what was different at the end of each half that really hadn't happened up to that point when the defense was playing pretty well? Okay. I interpreted that as as a couple drives. You're talking about the like scoring drives at the end of each half? What? Yes, the scoring drives to end each half. Oh. Well, yeah, we, yeah, uh, you know, going back again and uh, um, couple, couple times execution, a couple times that that we could have put them in in better situations. Uh, a couple times we had to, you know, communication. And I'm talking when I say a couple times, couple plays. Um, uh, you know, uh, a couple times they make make a great throw and catch. Um, we create pressure and try to put them in a hole and, you know, uh, I call the timeout to keep, you know, keep that as an option to get the ball back. Um, you know, clock would have run out on, on that. And so that, that's all, you know, you, you, you bunch all that up together and, and you work on each, each facet of those things individually. Mac Turek. Uh, the losses, it's, it's a high-pressure business, I understand, and you, the losses are difficult to deal with. And then you see something that goes on like at Los Angeles today with Sarkeesian and Randy Edsel being fired. How do you manage the pressures of this position, and how do you deal with these kinds of setbacks? Work and, and you know, get around a bunch of guys that, that I totally believe in and trust. That's coaches, that's players, that's everybody in our program. And you you work to to fine tune it, you know, uh, whether it's it's you know offense, defense, special teams, morale, you know, all the things that that go into this, uh, you work and and you know yeah the the the, <laughs> the business is the business as you know as you, you alluded to and that 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 is completely that, that is completely out of our control from that standpoint, but how we react to yesterday, how we react and come to work tomorrow, that that matters a ton. Joey in the back. After uh, watching the film of Charles on defense, what was your assessment of him back there? Uh, he did some really good things and did some things that that you know he'll he'll improve. Um, I think he needs to you know it ran around great. Obviously, uh, he had a couple big big time hits that 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 got it going. Um, you know, needs to to wrap up a couple other times and and uh, you know he's just he plays so fast that that a guy like that is gonna miss some tackles just by virtue of how hard he plays um and then just just confidence you know of, of the of the position and, and communication um and immediately knowing knowing what to do whether it's based on um you know some defenses are based on the personnel or the hash mark or the strength of the formation all those things just becoming second nature brian to the untrained eye it, it just appeared that vernon had a lot more velocity and warm-ups has he made significant progress since the utah game um, since the Utah game, I th I think so. Um, you know, th I think that's the magic word is is significant in quotation marks or italics or or what uh, um, going forward. And I don't I don't know the answer to that. Matt, with Taj's performance the last two weeks, do you think you've kind of found the complement with with Royce and now Taj, and how do they complement each other? Uh, just you know, big, very big time change of pace. Although I think Royce, you know, Royce can run fast a little bit faster than people give him credit for, and I think Taj can be a you know very physical guy uh, when the time is right. And so I think they're they complement one another very well. Uh, and then I think like we talked about last week, just to 
learning everything, you know, positionally, uh, protections, route running, aiming points, all those things that, that he'll continue to improve. Kristen, do you have anything else? Yes, Mark, it feels like the changes you guys make after a loss are more short-term, and they work for that week. But what's it going to take for you guys to be able to sustain a winning streak and get two wins in a row? One win. One win. And, and I, 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 don't understand, I don't understand your question on the first part of the short-term. Oh, sorry. I just, you know, it's been that pattern of win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. And it feels like the changes that you're able to make work for that week. And then it's, you know, a mentality or something drops off to where you guys kind of take, take a bit of a step back. So I'm asking what's it going to take to kind of be able to keep that mentality for the rest of the season? Yeah, and that that's where I guess just you know one at a time, and every every time something happens great or something happens that's not great, that that's something you need to put in your your memory bank and learn from, and 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 that's experience. And we we are building we're building a lot of uh, things that we want to su- sustain certainly, and then there, we're building uh, you know a, a few bullet points that we need to improve upon. But I think I think. Anytime we make a correction or an improvement or an adjustment, that that uh, those those should last forever. Andrew Greif, you have anything else? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you very much. Thanks, Matt. You kind of brought up experience in the secondary. I don't think with with Cisse and and now Reggie being unavailable, I don't think you have anyone in the program that's been on defense for three years or longer. How? How much does that impact the way you know, guys just react or know what they're supposed to do during games? Is that a, a big factor at all? Um, well, it's certainly a factor, and that you know that's one of those things. That, you know, great teams have talent, experience, and depth, and and uh, you can't manufacture any of those things. Uh, you know, it's it's nobody wants to hear about time, and and those are excuses, and that's totally understandable. Uh, and that's where we have to coach. We have to put them in great position, and then they have to build confidence by what happens. And if it's something not good, you learn from it and flush it. If it's something good, you keep it with you. Um, and and then that's where again, you just can't manufacture all these, you know, third and nine and giving up a 38 yard pass, uh, the red zone, you know, just all these things that you, you, you hammer home constantly, uh, until it happens in a game. It, 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 I don't want to say it's meaningless, but that getting those guys to trust those things is, 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 uh, it, it's a process. Winding things down. Warren. Mark, I talked to coach Neal after the Utah game and he said one of the great things about you in practice is that you come to work with such a positive attitude and upbeat and you get the players uh you you show that to your players that you're you go to the defensive side and you're all around um this week in practice how are you going to i guess create that positive momentum after a loss heading into washington which is going to be a tough opponent yeah again that the the only thing that we can we can concentrate on are the solutions it's very easy very easy to sit here and and point at what's wrong and and point directly at me 100 percent uh but we're we we have to be in the solution business and and that's when we deal with our 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 team or you know individual guys however it is is what can we do now you know what what's next what what because the 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 negativity will take care of itself uh and and uh you know as far as execution and all the there's a million things that we're absolutely not not pleased with but now what you know and and uh again our our character of our team how how they've worked all those things i'm absolutely 100 percent confident they're going to come out and 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 prepare great last call any more questions okay thank you thank you